everyone. This week we're thinking about real life superheroes. And can you guess what superhero I am? That's right. I am a firefighter. And I am going to save everybody from fires. Get out of the building everyone. Okay. I've got a lovely story to share with you today. It's called George Dragon at the Fire Station. I wonder what they get up to. George's pet dragon, Barty, was snoring loudly. <coughs> George, it's barking. See George. Today is the open day at the fire station. You don't want to miss it. Fire station open day. They've been looking forward to this. Squeaked Sparky excitedly. He leapt up and sent the alarm clock flying. Wakey shaky, he gasped. Toy sounds very excited. Having a pet dragon? I definitely wouldn't want a pet dragon in my house. I suppose even Sparky should be safe at the fire station, joked Mum, as Sparky gulped down his breakfast and accidentally burned a hole in the tablecloth. Oh no! Of course he will, won't you, Sparky? smiled George. Sparky nodded happily and knocked over George Dad's cereal. Oh no, I don't think it's a good idea taking a dragon to a fire station. At the fire station, Firefighter Lottie and Firefighter Fred were showing everyone around. Whee! Lots of children were having fun sliding down the fireman's pole. Zippy Fun Dunda! laughed Sparky, rushing up to have a go. No, Sparky, stop, cried George. You're too big. But it was too late. What do you think might have happened? What's going to happen when Sparky goes down the pole? Sparky Bottom was stuck in the hole. George pushed one end. The firefighters pulled the other. Got a body biggie, gulped Sparky. Whoop! Thank goodness for that. He came out. Sparky shot free at last. But now I'm stuck, gasped the firefighter Fred. <gasps> Poor firefighter Fred. It's getting very smoky in here, coughed George. <coughs> Sniffle, whiffle, tickle, said Sparky. His nose was feeling very prickly. Sparky sniffed a huge snuffly salt. <coughs> oh no! A giant flame shot out from his snout. Sizzle! Now the teeny weeny fire was a big blaze. Sparky! said George. Oops, a shamey flamey, squeaked Sparky in embarrassment. Oh dear, this is a bit of a disaster. Oh yeah, can you see he's standing on the hose pipe? Oh no, he's got it holding up to his face. Uh oh, I can see disaster about to happen. Look at the fire, the fire's going to get bigger. Don't worry, I'll soon put the fire out. Firefighter Lottie said, quickly she unravelled the long water hose. Stand back everybody! You don't want to get wet! Firefighter Lucky turned the big red water wheel on. Everyone held their breath <gasps> and watched. Hmm, that's strange, frowned Firefighter Fred peering down the hose. Why is 
isn't any water coming out. Can you see? Why is there no water coming out? That's right. Sparky found it on the hose. Sparky, whispered Jaws. You're standing on the hose pipe. Splish! There was plenty of water coming out. Now, Goopy Toppy, blushed Sparky. We're soaked, said Firefighter Fred crossly. If Sparky can't behave, he must go home. Poor George, he felt so disappointed. But just then... Ding, 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 The fire alarm bell rang loudly. It was a real emergency. Action station! We've had a 999 call, shouted Firefighter Lucky. His Trimble's kitten, Fluffy, Mrs. Trimble's kitten, Fluffy, is stuck up a tall tree. We need to rescue it. Wow, gasped the children excitedly. Nina, Nina, off the fire engine's bed. Blue lights flashing. Everyone followed to see what would happen. Whoa, the children gulped. Fluffy was in trouble. Ah, they cried as firefighter Fred was lifted high up to reach the kitten. But Fluffy was too scared to let go of the branch. How will we get poor Fluffy down, wailed Mrs. Timble. George looked at Sparky. Sparky looked at George. Sparky can help, said George. Huh? said the firefighter, Fluffy doubtfully. Suddenly, crack. Oh no, gasped the crowd. The branch is breaking. Quick, Sparky, before Fluffy falls, cried George. Snap, meow, wee, up Sparky flew. Davy wavy, superhero. And Spark said Sparky, gently catching Fluffy midair. Hooray, the children cheered. Thank you, smiled Mrs. Timball happily. Well done, Sparky, grinned the firefighters. George was so proud of his pet dragon. After that, everyone enjoyed the rest of the open day. Sparky did accidentally burn a ladder, but fortunately, Firefighter Lucky had reached the bottom just in time. As a big thank you for saving Fluffy, Sparky and George were given their very own firefighting kit. The fire extinguisher was brilliant as it came in handy on the way home. <gasps> oh no, look, I've got my own fire extinguisher here, ready if Fluffy ever comes and, comes and visits me. I wonder if you can guess what real life superheroes we're going to be visiting throughout the week and thinking about. Have a think and let me know your guesses. Have a good evening. Bye.